Gray's Chic. Welcome everybody to a Friday to Get Trey Chic Live. Today is Friday the 19th of February and we're going to be showing you guys some fantastic, fabulous jewelry. And my wife is here next to me. She's going to be showing all the jewelry. I might show some. But anyway, her name is Latrice. My name is Monte and we're going to be going and giving you some descriptions of how to participate, how quickly we can get everything to you and how you can actually win some free jewelry tonight. So first off, house rules, shipping and handling is only a flat $4, so no matter how many pieces you purchase, it's only a flat $4. All the pieces that you see tonight will be simply just $5. $5 for the most fantastic jewelry you can have with the highest fashion. So everything that you're going to see tonight is lead and nickel free, and that's better than hypoallergenic people. Plus, plus. Key right though. Yeah, exactly. Plus, we're going to be putting sets together for you so you don't even have to do it yourself. If you have a t-shirt, a shirt, a blouse, which Prince used to wear, we can accessorize it in any fashion. So like, share, subscribe, send us to your friends, and we're going to get started. So anything I missed? Nope, you did good. Oh, by the way, go to GetTraceChic.com, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you can shop to your heart's content. So that's everything that's in the vault. That is so true. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, for Trey Chic Live. Tonight is Flashy Friday. Flashy Friday is tonight. So I have like um, a couple pieces I want to show. Um, what this is going to be make it a blockbuster night. So if you are just tuning in, we are going to have some trivia and some giveaways. So make sure you invite your friends and let's have a good time. Okay, let's have a good time. So I'm going to go ahead on and get started. And the first piece I'm going to be showing is actually what I'm wearing. And it is um, make it a blockbuster. It is one of our blockbuster pieces. Babe, what, what's wrong? What, what, why are you struggling? Because one of the... Okay, I'll figure it out. There you go. You finished? I'm finished. Okay, good. All right. So I'm actually going to start off with the with the piece that I'm wearing tonight, and this is a blockbuster. So if you don't know anything about paparazzi and what actually a blockbuster is, they are our pieces that are... Our best sellers, our top sellers. Um, they are, have been here since the beginning of time. They're, they still are here, and they're always in rotation. Okay, so the first piece I'm going to be showing you guys is break a leg. Okay, so that is the necklace that I'm wearing, and look at what look at this necklace. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so you have your black beads, silver beads, a really really nice white opaque comes down into this to this really really nice. Um, this is what I like to call the party. So you have all these these chains and all these charms. I'm just going to kind of go in so you guys can see it a little bit better so it's actually all of these chain details so you have the, this little uh bead and this little cute little doohickey right here really really cute so if you love to claim this one this is going to be chic and item number four all right the earrings that go along with the earrings that go along with are these cuties right here okay really really cute earrings so if you love it um this one is break a leg. It's going to be chic and item number four, okay? Now, for tonight, um, I do have a matching bracelet for this necklace. All right, I do have a matching bracelet for this necklace. The bracelet is called Lights, Camera, Action, okay? And look at it. It's actually a direct match to a direct match to the to the to the necklace all right the same opaque hey carmen thank you for joining please like and share and we're going to be doing trivia as well okay so you have the opaque beads the black the silver it comes down in this really really nice uh, again the same charm 
tassel -y type detail and it does dangle. So if you'd love to claim this piece, I will sell them separately um, simply because I'm not wearing them together and I didn't do it for a reason because I keep this arm to show you guys the, the bracelets. <laughs> so I didn't wanna you know, be too distracting, but this is the bracelet, she can item number 10 for lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action, she can item number 10, okay? So next up is the ring that I'm wearing, okay? So it is this ring, this ring is not a blockbuster ring, but I love this ring. I think it is just super, super cute. I have a couple of them available. It's called Hopes and Gleams. Hopes and Gleams is the name of this ring. It is on the stretch band, so it is a larger, it does on the larger stretch band, and it does fit all ring sizes five to 10. Hey Celeste, thank you Carmen for sharing, I appreciate it. And then look at this ring, I love it, okay? So as you can see, it's like has a little cat's eye moonstone, and it comes out into that really, really nice, it looks like a starburst, okay? To me it looks like a starburst, so if you love to claim this ring, hopes and gleams, just comment chic and item number 20. Chic and item number 20 for hopes and gleams. Hopes and gleams is chic and item number 20. So what do you want to try to do, the trivia of every five questions? Every five pieces, you every mean? Every five pieces, that's what I that's what I meant to say. But that's not what you said, though. Okay. Okay. All right, so next up, I do have some hoops, all right? I do have some hoops. I know I have some hoop lovers, and I have a this or that set of hoops. These are called out-of-control curves, and these earrings are so out-of-control, you guys. They are really, really big, okay? So you know what I like to say with hoops, the bigger the better. I have, so as you can see, they are really big, and they ha they're like a twisted. They're twisted all the way around, and they are in that nice post back. I have a couple of them in silver, but this is my last gold pair, my absolute last gold pair. So if you would love to claim these earrings right here, out of control curves, just comment chic and item number two. Chic and item number two for out of control curves, out of control curves, okay, all right. So next up is, I have, where am I gonna go, where am I gonna go? No, all right, so I actually have a macrame piece to show you guys tonight, all right, a macrame piece. Um, to show you guys tonight, I have it in two colors, but I'm going to start off with the yellow. It's called It's Beyond Macrame. It's Beyond Macrame in the yellow. Look at how cute this piece is. So I actually have it pulled up. It's actually a really, really long piece. It's on a suede, on a suede like rope, like necklace. It comes down this the wooden circle, and then you have all this party going on here. So it's like the macrame, and then you have the brown beads hanging off of it. I think this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. All right, the earrings that come along with are so cute. Look at these, all right? And I really love how they did this. Um, they didn't, they gave you like a bigger earring, okay? And I believe this is a slip knot. So I think you can uh, make it as long or as short as you want. It's not a slip knot, but it is only tied in the back. So, I mean, you can still plan to play around with it to make it as long or as short as you want. So this is a really nice customizable piece, all right? Customizable piece, really, really cute, all right? So- Get it to fit you and fit your Yes, mood. get it to fit, yes, you can do anything with this. I absolutely, absolutely love it, so cute. So if you love to claim, again, it's beyond macrame in the yellow, and this is this is the pendant part, just comment chic and item number seven. And again, it falls really low. Look at how it hits on the black. Really, really cute, all right. So. So next up is... Hold on a second. You know that was five, right? Yes. So you want to keep going? Go ahead. Because I know you get in the groove. Okay. We'll, we'll make sure we take care of All right, guys. guys. So, um, yes, I do realize that was five. But um, I want to keep going. Go ahead. I want to keep going. Okay. Thanks. So the next... You do what you want to do The next piece I'm going to be showing you guys is so cute. All right. So it's actually... A, the same necklace but in a different color but I also have some coordinating pieces to go along with it okay so it's gonna be chic and item number 12 okay it's all it's going it's beyond macrame in the green okay so it's the same exact necklace as the yellow on the brown suede on the brown suede necklace the wood piece and then it comes down in this gorgeous green okay so this is that really really nice hunter green which is coming back in style so I'm gonna just leave it up here like this because the next couple pieces I'm gonna be showing you guys are a really really nice match really really nice match okay so i'm actually going to start off with the bracelet okay so there i have the green macrame bracelet all right really really nice what i love about it it's not like on a cuff or anything it's a really really um cute slip knot so the necklace the bracelet's called make yourself homespun in the green make yourself homespun in the green really really nice it has the slip knot to make it easy to put on and take off you just pull it 
and you can adjust it to fit the wrist, okay? So if you would love to claim this bracelet to go along with it, make yourself homespun in the green, just comment chic and item number five. Chic and item number five for all about homespun in the green. Now, get ready, because I actually topped it off with some um, green macrame hoops, okay? Green macrame hoops, look at this here. She can add them number three, okay? She can add them number three for twine and zine in the green. Twine oh and God. zine in the green. This set is so fire. Like, this is a must have. You can wear this all year round. So cute. Dress it up, dress it down. I'm getting, I can do anything with this, okay? I could just, just make it happen, all right? So if you love to claim this earrings right here, twine and zine in the green, just comment she can item number three. She can item number three for twine and zine in the green, okay? I'm gonna show a few more pieces before I get into our first blockbuster question. A few more pieces. So the next piece that I'm going to show is this piece right here, okay? So it's actually called Boldly Bronx, all right? Now I love the industrial link chain on this, um, on this necklace. The links are a little bit textured just to kind of give you, um, a, to, to kind of make it, when the light hits it, to give it a different kind of sheen really really nice and the earrings that come along with are these cuties right here okay super cute the direct match link earring to the necklace if you would love to claim these boldly bronx in the gunmetal just comment chic and item number 11 chic and item number 11 for boldly bronx in the black boldly bronx in the black is going to be chic and item number 11 chic and item number 11 all right so next up is I actually have a pair of gunmetal hoops. Now, I only have two of these hoops left, okay? I only have two of these hoops left. They're called a double feature, a double feature, all right? So it's a really, really nice, um, highly polished, highly polished um, hoop, all right? Really, really nice size, not too big, not too small, okay? Super cute, looks cute with your hair up or down. So if you would love to claim these hoops, a double feature, just comment chic and item number 13. Chic and item number 13 for a double feature in the gunmetal. A double feature in the gunmetal, okay? Okay, so if you guys have not liked and shared, uh, please do so as someone on your timeline might be interested in what Trey Chic has to offer. And the next piece I'm gonna be showing is, I'm gonna go into some, what do you think? Some grass like gold or just because there's not enough people here. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna just wait. All right. Well, I tell you what, we have a couple people watching. It's okay. Not fair. For, All for right. Not so Monte wants to play the game. Well, it's All not right. that I want to. It's so just Monte fair wants to, to play guys. the game. So before I get into the next piece, he's gonna go into the first trivia question. All right. So the way that it works is that we're going to ask a trivia question. If you guess the question correctly you get put into a drawing for two free blockbuster pieces for tonight so if you if you if you yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm a mess tonight okay, so hey kelly works, thank you for joining so anybody that's playing live all you have to do is answer the question you are placed every answered question correctly everyone is placed into, into a the drawing, drawing. Mm -hmm. and at the end of the game at the end of the show what we do is we'll draw a winner yes so that's okay. how okay and th for tonight it's two free blockbusters okay so two free block of your choice okay of your choice okay so are you ready i'm ready okay so we're gonna get the game started and of course Therese doesn't know any of the answers i sure don't i sure don't so glad to hear that so let's share the screen okay so here we go. So, we already went through the actual rules of the game, mm -hmm. and we actually know what we're playing for, which is a blockbuster. So now, first question: Which movie was remade the most times? So, yeah, of course you don't know that. And I don't sure don't. Do which movie was remade? So, the do most they have times? choices? Of course they have choices. Everybody right. has a choice. So, the next first choice is A. Is it Annie? B. A Christmas Carol? Mm -hmm. Is it C, King Kong? Or is it D, Batman? So, which movie was remade the most times? So, and those are the choices. Either A, just type in, you can type in A, B, C, D, or the names of the movie. So, it's A, Annie, right. B, A Christmas Carol, C, King Kong, or D, Batman. Okay. So, give it a couple seconds. And what we'll do is we'll 
jump to the next screen. All right, and I know Carmen shared. If you guys shared, please put hashtag shared in the comments because you, I will also put you in for uh, good, good, the drawing good. as well. Good, Sharing so. gets you extra entries. Okay, definitely. So I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds and I'm gonna get right back to it. All right, so you think they're ready? I think so. All right. All right. So good, so I'm gonna flip it over. So good, yes. Yeah, so the answer was B, a Christmas Carol. Okay. So, so Carmen got it. Yes. Did you write her down? I will write her down. Of okay. Course. I always come. All right, Carmen. So you got this one, a Christmas Carol, and it was it looks like it was remade. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, nine times. That's a lot. Of that's times. a lot of times. Okay, that's a lot of times. All right. All right, Carmen. Congratulations. Let's see. All right, so let's get into some more jewelry. Let's get into some more jewelry. So the next piece that I'm going to be showing, I love Santa Fe style uh, jewelry. I love the cracked stone, all right? Really, really cute. The, this is the piece I have for tonight. It's called Sandstone Oasis. So it is on a silver chain. And then we have all these crackle stones here. And then look at the, the pendant, okay? The pendant is really, really cute. It's that nice geometric shape. Um, you probably cannot see the veining because my light is just super bright. I can take that down. Please, because yeah. they can't see it. So it, this actually does have veining in it. Oh, okay, hopefully you can see it that way because I, my light is so bright. All right, and all right, Carmen, I got you for 18, this one. All right, so, and these are the earrings that go along with. So I have one left. I only had two. So Carmen has one. I have one left. She can add on number 18, okay? She can add on number 18 for a sandstone oasis. So what I did for tonight is I actually paired it with an earring. All right, I do have more than two earrings, so um, if you want to make it a set, you it's definitely, a, definitely, you will make it. You will be making a statement. So these are called Desert Plains in the White. Desert Plains in the White, and these earrings will just do the talking all for themselves. Look at these earrings, you guys. If I can just get them right, look at what's going on here. Okay, so we have the nice medallion up at the top, and we have the nice leaf. But look at what's going on. We have like the real feathers in here. Okay, so that's actually a real feather and it has the same white cracked stone beads in the earring. Look at how cute these are. Really, really nice hang time. And then you can actually pair these together for that really, really nice um, Santa Fe style look. So if you would love to claim these earrings here, Desert Plains in the white, just comment she can item number 15. Okay, she can item number 15 for Desert Plains in the white. Those are super high end. These are so cute. Those. And if crazy. Kelly's on here, I think these are the ones she messaged me about. Kelly, if you're here, let me know. Cause she, she messaged me. I think these are the ones that she, sent me a message about because she I think she had got them from me all right so next up is I have a fashion fix okay so it is fashion fix Friday and I did want to hit you guys with one fashion at least one fashion fix tonight and so this is actually a four-piece set so all pieces uh, will be sold together uh, for $20 I believe I have th two or three of these sets so they're going to be all four pieces under one number for one price of $20 okay so I'm actually going to start off with the necklace so this is the necklace right here look at this necklace you guys it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous all right the necklace is called oh my i didn't turn, didn't even turn it over the necklace is called fully charged in the silver fully charged in the silver so it's actually on that really really nice snake snake chain it's a bead at the at on either end on either end and then it has this these different these geometric shapes so this is like a true statement piece like this is a, a high-end high-end paparazzi five dollar piece okay and look at the earrings that go along with it look at the earrings that go along yeah, with it so if you would love to claim this it's part of chic and item number six okay so if you like the necklace you're going to love the next three pieces and all right this is a, a set this is a this set is so set. twenty dollar set so these are the earrings that go along with it so these earrings are called evolutionary edge in the green okay evolutionary edge in the green so if you notice it has the same geometric shape hanging off of the fish hook back and it has this really really nice acrylic uh green and black triangle in the middle just to kind of give it that really really nice pop of color all right they paired it up with a ring so this is the ring right here okay same acrylic ring style. I'm going to take my ring off and put this one on so you guys can see it. 
look at this ring you guys it's so cute and it's like a perfect match to what's going on here and then they actually topped it off with this with this bangle so this is a square bangle but it's again it has that nice triangle motif okay so you put this bangle I've on i've never seen that before right this is such an edgy set okay twenty dollars for all of this so you get actually two earrings a necklace and a bracelet all right so if you love to claim this fashion fix just comment chic and item number six and it is a twenty dollar set okay so i am selling all pieces together a twenty dollar set all right I've never seen a square bangle before. But what I'm going to do is I do have, I believe I have two extra necklaces available. So if you would like to just claim the necklace, it's going to be chic and item number 15. No, no we did not. 15 already. We did 15? Sorry, yes. guys. One. One. So if you want just the necklace, it's one. But if you want the four-piece set, it's six, okay? If you want just the necklace, it's one. If you want the four-piece set, it's... Hi, Tina. How are you? How I'm so glad to see you. All right, so, all right, next up, <clears throat> I'm going to get into another set. All right, so this is going to be a $10 set. The next one I'm going to be showing, uh, the pieces, again, will be sold together. So the necklace is called Eden, what's that word? You got to move that, Deity. Eden Deity, okay. De not Deity, Deity. Like Eden Deity. Look at this <laughs> necklace, you guys. It's a true statement necklace. I'm loving this red the Y shape is absolutely gorgeous, all right? It does come with a pair of matching earrings. Okay, so these are the really, really nice um, teardrop shape with the multi-face to kind of give it a different <clears throat> a different um, sprinkle of light when the light hits it. Okay, so this is the necklace here, Eden DT. And, oh, jeez. And I paired it up with this bracelet, okay? So the bracelet is called Rainy Days. Rainy Days. It's a direct match bracelet. All right, this will fit a small wrist. It's on a two inch extender. As you can see, I have it on the smallest right now. Um, I'm gonna put it on the larger so you guys can see it a little bit better. So you can see how it's, it, it extends because it does extend two inches. See, I would have had to take measure from. Yeah, you keep it up. So <laughs> this, is, this, is the this is the bracelet here that goes along with it, okay? So if you would love to claim this set, it is a $10 set. The necklace with the matching bracelet, all you have to do is comment chic and item number 17. Okay, chic and item number 17 for this two-piece set right here. Really, really cute, all right? $10, you definitely can't go wrong. All right, so next up, I'm gonna get into the next trivia question. I'm gonna have Monte put it on the screen before we get into some more jewels. Yes. Yeah, so if you have not shared, please share, put hashtag shared in the comments. By you doing that, it does put you in the drawing as well. <clears throat> for um, two free blockbusters. Okay, so off to the question. If you can get it together. Uh, no, it's together. Okay. It's together, trust me. So, the question, question. Why did it change on the screen? Okay. What was the longest Hollywood movie ever made? That is the question. What was the longest Hollywood movie ever made? So, is it A, the Titanic? That felt like the longest movie ever made. It did. Um, Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny, Penny. B, Gone with the Wind? Is it C, The Godfather Part Two, Or is it D, Cleopatra? So, what was the longest Hollywood movie ever made? Is it A, The Titanic? B, Gone with the Wind, C, The Godfather Part 2, or D, Cleopatra. Again, you can just simply either type in the name if you want to, which will be the longest entry ever, or you can type in the letter. Type in what you guys want. I know how to read. Do you? <laughs> yes, I do. Carmen says it's C. Okay, good, good. Does anybody else have any answers? What's the longest, the, Hollywood, right longest Hollywood movie ever made? A... Titanic B, Gone with the Wind, C, The Godfather Part 2, or D, Cleopatra. Okay, Carmen says C. Okay. Okay, so. give so, it a couple more seconds, and then we're going to give the answer. Okay. So type it now or forever. Hold your peace. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, so a couple more seconds. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the answer is. How are you going to have me tell them what the answer is? The timer wasn't even done yet. 
Cleopatra. So it's yep. D. Cleopatra. So 1963 it's, version of Cleopatra was 248 minutes. That's a long time to be sitting in front of the TV watching something. Yes. Like yes. that'll take me day. Like it'll take me a month to watch that because yes. I, I go to sleep. So. <laughs> okay. All right. So next up, we're going to get into some brass. Some brasses next. All right. So actually, I'm going to start off with these earrings. So these earrings are going to be a this or that. They are going to be a this or that, but I'm going to act this kind of trickle into some brass, okay? So these are the earrings right here. So these are called um, Off the Flock, Off the Flock, all right? Now, what I'm loving about these earrings is I'm loving the inverted leaf detail. So it's actually really, really light, too. They're not heavy at all. They are on a fish hook back, okay? So they have this really, really nice leaf detailing. Okay, not too big, not too small, but definitely making a statement with these is a, is going to happen. So if you'd love to claim them in the brass, comment chic item number 19 brass. If you would love to claim them in the gold, comment chic item number 19 gold. If I can get them, because I... A little longer than I thought. I yeah, they're, they're cute. Like, they're like a good... They're like a good size. So if you like big earrings, they're for you. If you don't like big earrings, they're for you. So they're like... <laughs> the perfect size the perfect size yes but somehow i got them tangled up in here all right here we go okay so here they are in gold super cute look at these earrings really really nice highly polished and then here they are in the brass okay she can item number 19 okay for off the flock let me know if you would like the brass or the gold all right off the flock all right so next up is this necklace is a one-shot deal. I only have one. This is the only one that I have. It's one of my favorites. It's called Infinite Impact in the brass color. So it is, let me fix it, because she is not sitting up here right for you guys. Let's see. All right, let me see. I don't know, I have to completely on, no, I thought it was right. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't. And what's the sense of me showing it crazy? Yeah. So it's it being difficult. Mm -hmm. like, like you? you? Yeah. See? I should have known. should have known. Just like you. She yes, Penny. I Penny, I only known. showed one Blockbuster, and it's the Blockbuster that, I, that I'm wearing <clears throat> with the bracelet. So those are the only Blockbusters I showed tonight for the feature. So this is the necklace, okay? Infinite Impact. All right, I'm loving this necklace, you guys. This is one of my favorite necklaces. Um, I do, I do actually own this piece. Um, it's a simple piece, but it's it can make a statement as well. So, you have this really, really nice size industrial chain. I love to call these like a motorcycle chain, but they kind of uh, made it a little bit more like soft and pink and dainty by putting these infinity signs with the with the brass rhinestones in the middle, okay? So it's a really, really cute piece. You can definitely, this is just one of those that you can just put it on and you can wear big earrings, little earrings, it's really not gonna matter. It does come with these earrings, you know, which are a little bit on the smaller side. So if you love to claim infinite impact, this is the only one that I have left, okay? The only one that I have left. All you have to do is comment she can item number eight. She can item number eight for infinite impact. Infinite impact, she can item number eight, all right? Next up, if you love that, you're gonna love this bracelet. Now the bracelet I have multiples of, I forgot to take it out the package. And for that I do apologize. All right, Carmen, I got you for eight, all right? So the bracelet is called Living Off the Grit. Living Off the Grit, and it will look really nice with that necklace, okay? So it's actually, again, that nice industrial link chain. It is on a cuff style, so you can manipulate it a little bit to make it to adjust to fit the wrist. So if you would love to claim this necklace, I'm sorry, this bracelet here, Living Off the Grit in Brass, just comment Chic and Item Number Nine. Chic and Item Number Nine for Off the Grit in Brass. Off the Grit in Brass, all right? Good, good. So if there's pieces that you guys like to see and you said, hey, you know what? I would like to order it now, order more pieces. You can actually do so by using mm -hmm. Sezzle right on a site that'll allow you to purchase as many pieces as you want and break up the payments over five periods four. So four four i'm sorry four it's like straight get it right items. four get it right four all so right carmen got i got you for nine okay so sizzle it and forget it okay so next up is this uh, necklace right we're not here gonna do 14 for some reason 14 doesn't work okay so this necklace here is so cute as well go steer crazy go steer crazy this is a, a true statement piece Again, it will it will go with any of the brass pieces that I showed, whether it the bra whether it be the bracelet or even those um, flocked earrings. 
really really nice yeah so okay penny i got you yes get greedy and pay later <laughs> all right so i'm loving i'm loving the detail here okay so it's actually three crescent shaped crescent shaped um or just crescent shaped. crescent shapes Okay, that do fit that do fit flat to the chest has really really nice detail to it It comes down into these five little little dangly little charms. So cute. The matching earrings for it is a direct match to To the earrings direct match to the earrings. So if you would love to claim this piece go stare crazy My necklace is so big. I just want you guys to see how it kind of sits. Okay, really really cute If you want to hear see go stir crazy just comment she can item number 37 you she can have number 37 every day. and you can go stare crazy all right so next up um, i'm gonna have my thing do the next question all right so let's that's all that. the brass i had yes. all right so we, we ended off on 37 so i just want to make sure i don't receive any numbers for you guys okay. so the next question i'm gonna have it displayed on the screen guys all right so What blockbuster movie was the highest grossing? So, it's simple. What made the most money? You trying to think about it? No, I'm just waiting for some options because I don't know. Okay. So, what blockbuster was the highest grossing? So, we had the Titanic back again as A. B, Avengers Endgame. C, Avatar. Or D, Pixar's Cars. So, again, the highest grossing movie of all time was it A, the Titanic, B, Avengers Endgame, C, Avatar, or D, Pixar's Cars. Penny so, says Titanic. She says Titanic. Let me throw a timer up on there. So Titanic. She says, wait, wait. She's probably going to Google it. Uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 she says C, Avatar. Uh, okay, okay. So C and is your final answer, Penny? C, final answer. Answer, okay. Penny. We got you for Avatar. Okay. Who else? Who else is All next? right, who else? That's it? Just Penny? Okay. All right, so we have Avatar. So four, three, two, one. So the answer to that is B, B Avengers Endgame at two point seven nine seven billion dollars worldwide. Well, you said C, but it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> but nice try. So Penny. nice try. Carmen said B, but oh, I did? think that the I think that the the comment there, there might have been a there delay. may have been a delay. So, um, so I got Carmen. I'll put it. you in Carmen because I think there was a delay. I don't think Carmen was googling. Yeah, Carmen got this one. All right, good. All good. right. Okay, so next up, I have some seed beads. All right, I'm gonna go into some seed beads. Yeah, I know. That's why I accepted it. The delay is is crazy. She said I said A. I don't know what it was, but you got it right. I have I have no idea. But you're you're <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the letter, but you got it right. <coughs> Sorry guys. All right. So next up is I have this really, really nice orange seed bead necklace. Okay, because I don't know about you, but I am so ready for the spring. And this color is a really, really nice color, okay? Like for the spring. Um, it is classified as orange, but to me it looks more like a coral color. It's a braided seed bead necklace. It's called the Great Outback. All right. This is one of my favorite, favorite seed bead necklaces because of the way it just kind of sits up and makes a statement and you don't and you don't need to do a whole lot with it. Okay. So if you would love to claim the Great Outback in the orange, just comment she can item number 39. I do have quite a few of these. All right. And I and it does come with these matching earrings. All right, the <clears throat> the looped earrings. So if you love the the great outback in the orange, comment she can item number thirty nine. Or Again, the coral, as she kind of sits it, up. The coral. The co yes, the coral. I'm, I'm gonna check your crayon boxes. We Listen, went the to last the store time you to tried check. to the last time you tried to check my crayon box, you were still wrong. I, I so don't still mess. Couldn't find don't it. mess with me in my colors. Okay. I checked, don't, guys. I don't, went to, do it. To don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. All these crayons. Okay. I do have it in. An, hey, Monique. I do have it in another color. All right, so this is the gray outback in the green. All right, the gray outback in the green is gonna be chic and item number 40. Same exact necklace, just a different color. Now I love these, I love these uh, braided CDB necklaces. They are my absolute favorite, okay? So if you love to claim the gray outback in the green, just comment she can item number 40, okay? She can add number 40 for the gray outback in the green and she could be yours. She does come with 
these really, really nice um, green seed bead earrings. So if you love it, comment. She can add a number 40 and she can be yours, okay? Now, I made a mistake. Yes, the green is cute. I made a mistake. And for that, I promise if you guys need a necklace to go with these next pair of earrings, I got you, okay? Because your girl is colorblind. Not because I don't know the color, just because I couldn't see. So these earrings right here are seed bead earrings. And both pieces I showed are not the right color that goes in the <laughs> that goes in the earring. But I do have seed beads. This, gotcha this blue. And I do have seed beads in this orange. So these are called happy as can bead. So they are a really, really nice post back. Uh, post back uh, seed bead earring, as you can see. Really, really cute. So it has the orange and the bottom is blue. Now, why I pulled out a coral and a green necklace, please charge it to my heart and not my, my head. Char charge it to my head because I, I couldn't see. All right. So if you love to claim these earrings as happy as can be, just comment she can out of number 36. Now, if you want a seed bead necklace to go with these, please inbox me because I have so many. I have blue and I have this orange, this particular orange right here, okay? So if you love to claim these, 36. If you need a necklace, let me know, all right? So those, that's not coral orange? No, this is real orange. Okay, all right. Because, th th listen, the colors don't go. I, I don't know what I was thinking, I okay? Either. So I gave you Miami Dolphins two ways because who really knows what their colors are? All right, so how many pieces is that? You tell me. All right, I don't know. So we're, I'm just going to show a few more pieces, ask a few, ask another question, and we'll be all set for the night because I'm not going to keep you guys too, too long, okay? So I'm going to get into some copper. I love, love, love copper. Okay, copper and brass. I think they're like my favorite, uh, my favorite finishes, my favorite metals, just because they're different. Um, this necklace here is called Moon child magic moon child magic now i love this necklace okay so it is on a copper chain really really nice and i'm loving this crescent so this crescent does sit flat to the chest and that's what makes it make the actual statement for the necklace but look at these black rhinestones in there okay so yes paparazzi dressed this copper up with this necklace okay so it's really really cute it does come with. Thing is popping off. It the is light. is popping off the light. So it does come with these earrings right here, a smaller earring. You know, sometimes because you don't want to do too much around the neck. So if you would love to claim this necklace right here, hey Lakeisha, thank you for joining. If you love to claim this necklace right here, Moon Child Magic in the Copper, just comment. She can item number thirty-five. She can item number thirty-five. Now I did pull out a pair of copper hoops. Now really really cute copper hoops. I love these and I have plenty. Okay, I have plenty of necklaces as well. And All right, so these are called Desert Wanderings in the Copper. Desert Wanderings in the Copper. And look at these hoops, you guys. Love, 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 love. So they're a really, really nice size. But look at the detail in them, okay? So they have that like wired type detail, wired type detail. They are on the um, post back. If you'd love to claim these, just comment she can item number 34. And I really think that it looks cute together just because the necklace is so popping. And sometimes if your necklace is popping, you want to kind of mute it down a little bit with your earrings. But again, it's all a personal preference. So completely up to you. So if you would love to claim these earrings here, what was the name of them? 34. Babe? Desert Wanderings. Yeah. Sh comment she can item number 34. Uh, okay. I just saw why the 20s weren't popping up. These are just... Okay. So over. next up is I have Hang a on. ring. Move your hand for a what happened? I had to figure out why they weren't coming up. Okay. Okay. So next up I have a copper ring. Okay. I love this ring. I love butterflies. Okay. So hey, Linda, thank you for joining. So I love butterflies. If you love butterflies, this ring is for you. It is copper. It's called Full of Flutter. I have two of these rings left. Take this ring off. Two of these rings left. All right. So cute, you guys. Look at this ring. Okay. I'm loving it because it's like a three-dimensional ring. So it doesn't sit flat to the finger. It kind of comes up a little bit. And it is on the, the the larger band. And again, like I say, these earrings do fit, these rings do fit all fingers, sizes six through 10. If you love to claim this ring full of flutter, just comment she can item number 22. Isn't it, Penny? I love it. I love this ring. Um, but I'm sharing tonight. I'm sharing tonight, all right? She can item number 22 for full of flutter, all right? So, do we have another question? Yes, we okay. do. So, we're going to get into the next blockbuster question, and then we are going to pull the winner and 
call it a night. I have a few more pieces too. Okay. So, so might just gotta put it up on the screen. All right, Penny, I got you for twenty two. What actor has starred in the most blockbuster films? So, what actor has starred in the most blockbuster films? So, as soon as I show the answers, I'm going to start the timer. So, let's go. So, again, we have most starred actor. Well, the, what actor starred in the most blockbuster films? We have Scarlett Johansson, Robert Downey Jr., Samuel Jackson, or Tom Hanks. So enter your information below. I know who I think it is. To be drawn, to draw. So again, is it A, Scarlett Johansson, B, Robert Downey Jr., C, Samuel Jackson, or D, Tom Hanks? So right. Penny says Tom Hanks and Carmen says Tom yes, Hanks. Just a little. So we have about 10 seconds remaining. So lock it in, guys. Because Monte gives y'all way too much time. He gives you enough time to Google. No, he can't, don't he can't keep guys, doing that. Yeah, listen, it's not enough time to Google. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> I'm running the game now. Okay. So the answer is C, Samuel Jackson. And I that I knew that one. Uh, 64 blockbuster movies. So Penny and Carmen both said Tom yep. Hanks. So, How many movies did Tom Hanks star in? It was like, blockbuster movies, it was like 52, something around there. So close, but he, he wasn't the, the top. I know, Penny. I, I, I knew it was Sam Jackson, but I don't know. I didn't I, I didn't think it was Tom Hanks though. I did. That's because I told you. You didn't tell you didn't tell me anything what? before I um got up here on the side. I told you how many gonna, movies he was in. The lies you did, but you didn't tell me about it, him being having the most. You like we lie because I draw a mustache right on you right now. Sharky. You won't. I know better, and so do you. All right, guys. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Let's go before Monty and Tree shenanigans start. We did so good this live, and now I'm on my last home stretch, and you want to start acting up. You acted up right from the beginning. Never. As soon as we hit the live button. <laughs> Never. All right, guys. So I have a couple of wood pieces to show you guys tonight. So these pieces are new, new, like new, 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 like they just came in. All right. So <clears throat> the first piece I'm going to show is natural element, natural element. Look at these earrings, you guys. I love them. So <clears throat> they are on a fish hook back. It's a chocolate. The chocolate you're allergic to? Yes. Okay. All right. So they, yeah, Monty says look up his chocolate. They kind of do. They kind of do. So they're actually wood though. So there's a wood disc at the top, the hammered in the, the hammer detail in the middle, and then it finishes off at the bottom with the second half circle being a piece of wood. All right. Look at the hang time on these though. So cute. I'm loving these earrings. If you love these earrings too, if you love them too, just comment. She can add a number 21 for a natural element. She can add number 21 for natural element. I so love these. Like, I, I'm going to probably wear them tomorrow, sit in the house. <laughs> All right. So next up is I do have a wood bracelet. Um, the wood bracelet, again, is new, new as well. It just came in. This is called Cozy and Cosmel. Now, what I love about this wood bracelet is the size. And I'm loving how the brown and white just kind of play off of each other, okay? Because look at it you can be seen you just don't you just want people to see you they're gonna see you in this bracelet okay i love this bracelet if you love it too comment she can item number 24 it is on a stretch it is a stretchy one super cute she can item number 24 she can item number 24 okay that's hot too i love it so the last piece that i have is a necklace um and it just screams spring to me and i wanted to light up the light up the live so this is going to be in place the of last. the groundhog is that the to... groundhog already said six weeks and I, that was what last week so there's apparently there's five more weeks of winter and it won't stop snowing here in the northeast i i don't know when it's gonna stop in but Texas, I'm, everybody, everybody I'm gonna, gonna i'm ready for the snow to stop okay so the next piece we're going to be showing is palm beach beauty palm beach beauty in the pink all right Look at this necklace, you guys. I love her so much. She's absolutely gorgeous, okay? So <clears throat> she's a double layered necklace, a double layered necklace with all of these really, really nice um, oblong beads on each layer. So you can pull it up to kind of choke it up a little bit. You can let it hang. Now, you know, I always say when you choke up a necklace, it completely changes the look, okay? It completely changes the look. So if you would love to claim this necklace here, beach, 
Susie Ann, please. Palm Beach Beauty in the pink. Just comment she can out of number 23 and she can be yours. Okay, she can out of number 23 and she can be yours. Okay, these are the earrings that come along with. All right, really, really cute earrings. Definitely cannot go wrong with this with this necklace. This this necklace is so big, you guys. I can't even show you guys a piece like I want to. All right, look at how it looks. So cute. It'll just give you that nice pop of color with like whatever you're doing because I just have a simple basic black t-shirt. Nothing special tonight, all right? So if you love to claim this necklace, it's going to be chic and item number 23. Chic and item number 23. Yeah. And that is all the pieces I have for you guys tonight. So we are going to... Where's the names? We only had... Okay, so scroll through real quick and then you can tell it was carmen had i think three and penny had one so we're gonna pull the name to see who won the two free blockbusters yeah. and whoever wins can go to my website not this website my actual paparazzi website which is um do you have it do you have a, do you have a thing for it i do where is it? for five.com mm -hmm. so i have two websites you guys so where you're gonna go pick your free piece you're gonna go to my corporate website not my personal boutique it is www.treychicforfive.com and that is where you would pick your you can give us okay, okay. penny's just gonna give it to carmen all right so carmen you all right won. carmen you won carmen did have it on smash she kind of did penny was late okay so um Carmen, you won. So just go to um, www.treychicfor5.com and send me an inbox letting me know which two blockbusters you want, and I'll include them when, with your order for free. Okay? That's it. That's, That's it. it. As simple as that. If you've come to this and you're watching the replay, make sure you type in hashtag replay. Also, when you guys shop with us, or shop directly from GetTreyChic.com, which is actually on the screen above. All you have to do is just choose the pieces you like. And again, you can sizzle it, which means you can break it up over four. Yes, get it right. Payments. Get it four right. Four payments. payments. Okay. So, so shop to your heart's content. So you can actually sizzle if you go shop on my personal boutique or you can sizzle with my live. So don't you guys can just shop Either to your heart, shop to your drop and split up your payments as much as as you like okay so um you guys know i love what i do so if you love to know more information about the business you want to talk to me about the opportunity please inbox me or put info in the comments and just so you guys know all of my jewelry never ever ever makes the lives okay um things sell out before they even get a chance to go live or my website in some cases so if you want first dibs please put vip in the comments that's where i post all my jewelry first and yes, we do offer gift cards. Um, I offer them off of my personal website. So if you go to GetTreyChic.com, there is a gift card option. And you can purchase gift cards in, quant in increments of $10, $25, $50, or $100. So it's all set up and it's an e-gift card. You can email it to the person and they can shop, put the code in, and I will send it right out to them. Okay, so yes, we do. It's we a great do. Question. That is a great question. Okay, so until next time, you guys, you guys have a fabulous evening. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Good night and God bless. And I will see you guys next week. Okay, take care. Yes, take care.